Alright, this is the level I've gotten done so far. Um, part of it's from the, just the Unity 2D tutorial, and I've added some stuff to it. Um, the platforms, for the most part, are from the tutorial. Uh, I did reskin them with this kind of just basic generic brick look. Uh, the skybox, blue kind of planet looking thing down there, is also from the tutorial. And this jump pad up here is from the tutorial. Uh, obviously the character model, not mine, that's from the tutorial as well. I haven't had too much of a chance to get into 3 Studio Max. Uh, if I jump up here, see the platform kind of go back and forth. That one is mine from 3D Studio Max, as well as this cube over here. Um, they're both basically just cubes, that one's just kind of rectangle shaped. Uh, this one down here, added physics to it so you can move around just to kind of see what it would do. And then up here, these rings are mine from 3D Studio Max, they're just a really simple torus shape. Um, I animated them in 3D Studio Max, but I couldn't get the animation to load into Unity. I'm not exactly sure how to do that. Uh, luckily, you can just actually script them to rotate in Unity, so it wasn't really a problem anyways. Um, I did realize earlier, a minute ago, that I messed up. Uh, you can collect them, but I forgot to have it to collect the light as well, so you can kind of still see the blue glow after I pick them up to fix that. Uh, there's a counter up there in the corner. It's kind of hard to see up when you collect a ring that I can't seem to get. Alright, um, jump down here. I set up a projectile. Uh, pretty simple, really. It's just it's a tiny sphere shape, and uh, when you hit the button, it gets the velocity, and then I put a lens flare over top of it, which I kind of need to turn down the size on there. Um, Music is just attached to the main camera, it's just a sound file that loops, that way no matter where you go, it's playing through the camera so you can always hear it. Um, you can add to, to other objects, like the, the moving platform there you can give one to, or I can give footsteps of sound um, that are only heard when you're near them, I just haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, but to put this all together, um, you're basically just importing the, the platform pieces and stuff, and then you, you set them into Unity. The good thing about the 2D thing is you only really have to worry about your X and Y axis. Uh, the Z is always going to be zero for this, uh, which definitely makes life a little bit easier because you're not trying to line things up three, four, five, six different ways. Um, so that'll probably help as far as getting things done a little bit simpler, a little bit quicker. Um, it does have a terrain editor, which you can use if you just want to make like an island or terrain or something, but for this it doesn't really apply, uh, since we can just import the platforms any which way we wanted to, and construct them out of those. So basically putting together a level is just a matter of just making the pieces, finding the pieces, and then importing them and putting them together. So, pretty simple really. Oh, uh, last, last but not least, the projectile, you can put physics on it so it doesn't go through, if I stand over here, it'll go through the, the floor and everything. Um, I just turned it off because I kept shooting that box off the ledge there. Um, but you can do it, it's just just as easy as telling it what uh, material you want it to be made out of, so that's also pretty simple. 